It isn't often we hunters find ourselves in terrain quite this rugged. But out west, in the Rockies, the Cascades, the Sierra Ranges, the Alaska Range, heck, even back in Appalachia, we can find ourselves in some pretty rugged country. And for that, you've got to have the right boots. Hi, I'm Ron Spomer, and I found out the hard way just how important good boots are on a mountain hunt. Several years ago, I was on a goat hunt in the Canadian Rockies with this boot, and I found out they're just too floppy. I didn't have any ankle support. And up in steep mountains, when you're walking on angles like this, you've got to be able to stay upright. Well, the guy that I was with happened to have a spare pair of boots that he let me borrow, this boot, and I have been in love with them ever since. Now, both of these boots have good, deep, vibram lugged soles, and that's important because those lugs, they let you stick to little projections of rock so you can really stay on the mountains. Now, both these boots also have good, sharp edges to their soles, and that's important because those sharp edges cut into the hillside and help you stick on the mountain as you're walking this way. But if you don't have any ankle support and you're flopping around like this, I don't care how much you're sticking to the side of the mountain, you're going to break your leg and fall off of it anyway. But you don't want the boots so stiff that you're walking around like Frankenstein's monster. Well, the trick there is to have a soft scree collar up at top, so when you're walking forward, your leg is free to bend this way. You don't want all of that leather soft, just the top part, and they really do it well with this boot. Flexes easily in every direction. And you also need a little bit of flex back here at your Achilles tendon, because naturally our feet bend right at that point. So they've built in a little Achilles flex point right there and it's just enough to give you good flex in that direction without losing that critical ankle support. The Loa Boot Company makes this sole and they've got a special new feature in here. There's a textile around a soft inner core of these lugs. You see that little circle of white? It grips 30% better on ice than regular rubber. So it really helps you stick to wet logs, wet hillsides, wet rocks, anything that's slippery. Now the insole here really surprised me. It's a hard plastic and I would think that would be uncomfortable, yet it isn't. What it does for you in a mountain boot, it gives you a solid platform. It's like walking on stairs instead of a steep mountain edge. It's a flat, hard, stiff surface. Again, keeps your foot from twisting and rolling. Now while this thick leather is stiff and it really gives you that ankle support you need, the boot is really not uncomfortable. And part of the reason, a big part of it, is the padding. That little bit of foam in there really gives and cushions your foot, so it feels almost like you're wearing a slipper. The final ingredient I love in a mountain boot is a raised rand, and that's that black rubber part that comes up partway up the leather sole. In the good old days, we loved Goodyear welt systems. They sew this leather onto the sole, but that joint would rip, tear, and rot when mud and water got in it. What this rand does is it covers all that up. There's no threads in there anymore. These boots are cemented under extreme pressure, and that cement lasts forever. I haven't had a sole come off a boot in the last six or eight years since I've been using this system, but that ran really helps. It keeps the abrasion off of the boot, keeps the water in the mud from getting down in the cracks and rotting off that sole. Those boots last a long time. This, in my opinion, is a great mountain boot. I'm Ron Spomer. For more information about everything that has to do with hunting in the outdoors, visit ronspomeroutdoors.com.